Back here tonight in the Craft Hockeyville local organizing committee is looking for feedback on a long list of improvements to the Clinton Arena. And tonight News Channel 2's Kirk Tupai tells us how the list has grown and why. Last year, Clinton, New York was recognized as the best hockey community in the United States. It was a nationwide contest held by Kraft Heinz. To win the contest, you first had to explain what hockey means to the community. Mike Orsino is at the rink almost every day and says that was the easy part. It's a way of life here, there's no doubt about it. Yep, I, I'm pretty much everybody I know in Clinton has at least skated and started through a program here, whether it was figure skating or hockey. Um, it's a tradition, no doubt. The contest came with a $150,000 prize, money the arena is in need of. One of the questions you had to answer on your when you put your story in was what would your money be used for? And I was like, the roof, because if there's no roof, there's no arena. What started as an idea to raise enough money to get the roof here at the Clinton Arena fixed has grown into a $4 million expansion plan. But is that $4 million really an attainable goal? It is possible. And that's, our, that's what we'll shoot for. The $4 million, I think, would be an attainable goal. There's grant money out there available. It's something that has to be researched, but there's money out there. The $4 million would be used to construct a two-story addition with new restrooms, weight room, and figure skating facilities. In addition to the roof, the improvements include heating and concession space, new lighting and sound system upgrades, improved locker room access, and repurposed space for coaches and referees. I think we gave ourselves about 18 months, see what we could raise, and at the end of 2020, where are we? You know, are we at four million? Are we nowhere close? And then relook at the plan and say, based on what we're able to do, what's reasonable, and where do we go from that? The Chamber of Commerce is reaching out to the community and business owners for any feedback on how they feel the project should move forward. In Clinton, I'm Kirk Tupai reporting for News.